Hi, let's see in introduction to Euclid geometry what are the different axioms used and also some revision question based on these axioms. How many lines passes through two distinct points? So through the two distinct points only one line passes. Which of these statements do not satisfy Euclid's axiom? So if equals are added to equals, the holes are equal. If equals are subtracted from equals, the remainders are equal. Things which are equal to the same thing or equal to one another. These all three are correct. So the whole is less than the part. No, the whole is always greater than the part. So this statement is false. If a point P lies in between M and N, and C is the midpoint of MP. So let's mark the point M and N. And here it is said that P is between M and N. So let's mark P here. And C is the midpoint of MP. So in between it's C. Now, the first option is MC plus CN is equal to MN. Yes, MC from your MC plus, yes, CN is equal to MN. Is that true? It's true. And MC plus second option, MC plus PN. So MC from here to here and PN from here to here. The, the sum of this is not MN because this CP is missing here. So it's false. It's not that MC plus PN is MN. But MC plus CN is equal to MN. But it's not in the option, so it's false. Third option, MP, so from here to here, MP plus CP is equal to MN. No, it's false. And CP plus CN is equal to only CN, it's not MN, so false. Option A is the right one. Fourth one, Euclid stated that all the right angles are equal to each other in the form of an axiom. In a figure, AC equal to BD, then prove that AB equal to CD. The straight line is given that AB, it uh, points A, B, C, D. So we have to prove that AB equal to CD. And to prove AB equal to CD, AB equal to CD, let's take the given thing. Given is AC equal to BD. Okay, now to prove it, let's take this one, AB plus BC is equal to AC. And BC plus CD is equal to BD. The sum of BC plus CD is equal to BD. When you subtract these two, on subtracting first and second equation, you will have this BC, BC to be 0, BC minus BC will be 0, then AB minus CD will be equal to AC minus BD. And subtracting the equation 1 and 2. Now, AB minus CD, it is already given that AC equal to BD. So, instead of AC, let me substitute as BD. And BD minus BD will become 0. So, AB minus CD equal to 0, then Let's move CD to the right side. So AB equal to CD. That's what it's proof. AB equal to CD. Hence it is proved. Here to show AB equal to DE. AB equal to DE. Let's take the given things. To prove AB equal to DE, the given thing is AC is equal to DC, BC and BC equal to CE. Now, to prove it, let's take this line, which is AB. AB is the sum of AC plus BC. So, AC plus CB is equal to AB and this line B, DE, DE is the sum of DC plus CE, DC plus CE 
with the line DE. Now, according to the axiom, if equals are added, then its whole is equal. So let's add AC is equal to DC. So instead of AC, let's substitute DC. AC equal to DC. So instead of AC, we can substitute DC. And CB. Instead of CB, CB is equal to CE. So here, this DC, they are same. And CE and CE same. So if equals are added, then their whole is also equal. So AB ends from 1 and 2. You can say that AB equal to DE. According to the axiom that if when equals are added, then its whole is also equal. Hence AB equal to DE. In the given figure, it's given that AB equal to DC and BX equal to BY. We have to show, we have to prove that AX equal to CY. So to prove AX equal to CY, let's take the line BA or AB. AB is equal to the sum of AX plus XB. AB is the sum of AX plus BX. And the line BC, the line BC is the sum of BY plus CY. It's BY plus CY. Now, it's given that AB equal to BC. So instead of AB, let's substitute BC. And it's given that BX, BX is equal to BY. So instead of BX, let's substitute BY. So on comparing this equation 1 and this equation 2, now let's move. We have to find proof that AX equal to BY. So keep AX in equation 1 and move the BY to the other side. So the equation comes as BX minus BY. And in equation 2 to find CY, let's keep CY and move BY to the other side. So from this, from these two, equations we can still say that we can remember the axiom that if equals was subtracted from the equals then the reminders the reminders are equal here the reminders are ax and cy they are equal this is according to the axiom if equals are subtracted from the equals then the reminders are equal hence ax equal to cy In the line AB, AB is E is the midpoint of AB. So AB is equal to 2 times, it's 2 times AE. As E is the midpoint of the line AB, we can say that AB, this AB is equal to 2 times AE. And in the line CD, CD is 2 times DF. And now AE is equal to DF. As AE is equal to 2 DF, you can say that instead of AE, it's DF. AB is equal to 2 DF. Now on comparing this 1 and 2, this is the axiom that things that are double things that are double of the same things or equal to one another. So here it's double. Things which are double of the same thing, DF and DF, same things or equal to one another. So we can say that this AB is equal to CD by this axiom, which is that things that are double of the same things or equal to one another. So hence AB equal to CD.
it's given that o x equal to half of x y. So if o x is equal to half of x y, then to show x y, to show x y, let's move this one by two to the left side, so it becomes two o x. So two o x equal to x y. And next, given that p x is equal to half x v, as we have to show x v, so let's find out what is x is it x is it is move this off to the left side so it becomes 2 px x is it is 2 px and x y is 2 o x so now next given thing is o x equal to px so instead of this o x let's substitute px 2 px equal to x y let's compare the equation 1 and 2 1 is 2 px equal to x y and equation 2 it's 2 px equal to x Z. As we have to show x, y and x, z, on comparing these two equations, the axiom things that are double of the same things are equal to one another. This axiom is used to show that x, y is equal to x, z. Because here they said that things that are double of the same thing, p, x and p, x, the same thing. So it's double of the same thing than they are equal to one another. Things which are double of the same thing, then they are equal to one another. So here x, y is equal to x, z. But the axiom things that are double of the same things are equal to one another. Which is true, a line segment AB when extended in both directions is called ray AB. If it is extended in both the directions, then it's not a ray. As it extends in both directions. A ray extends only in one direction. As I just said, it's in both directions. No, it's false. Ray AB is not equal to ray BA. And ray AB has only one endpoint. Yes, it has only one endpoint, which is A which is A and B it extends. So the other side B it extends, endpoint is at A. So ray AB has one endpoint which is A. And a ray has only one endpoint, it never has two endpoints. So hence C is the correct option. 12 which is false, two circles are equal when their radio are equal, yes. A figure formed by line segment is called a rectilinear figure, yes. Only one line can pass through a single point. In a single point, multiple lines can pass. Multiple lines can pass in a single point. So it's given that uh, only one line can pass through. No, it's not. So this is false. Option C is false. Other than option C, remaining of correct. Next, a point C is the midpoint of the line segment AB. So if there is a line segment AB, Point C is at the midpoint if if AC equal to AB. No, C is the interior point of uh, AB. Yes, and AC equal to CB. Yes, AC equal to CB because as C is the midpoint, AC equal to CB, and C is the interior point. So uh, option C. Define a statement. It is define a statement as a sentence which can be judged to be true or false. Uh, so a statement is a sentence which says whether it is true or false. Here, which of the following is not a statement? 3 plus 5 is equal to 7. Is it true or false? False. Because 3 plus 5 is 8. Hence the statement, this is false. So it says that whether it is true or false. This is false. Kunal is a tall boy is an option B. Then option C, some of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree, but it is given 90 degrees. So it is false. Option D, the angle opposite to equal sides of the triangle are equal. Yes, in an isosceles triangle, the angles opposite to the equal sides, the base angles, they are equal. It, this is true. So in option A, C, D, these statements tell whether it is true or false. But option B, Kunal is a tall boy. It's it's not, we can't predict whether Kunal, Kunal is a small, tall boy or shorter boy. There's no comparison between whom he is compared with. 
so it's not a statement it doesn't say that whether it is true or false a statement means it's a sentence which should be saying you that whether it gives you true or false but this statement kunal is a tall boy we can't say whether it is true or false so hence this is not a statement